Spirit of God, this is you. You're going to sponsor us in the name of Jesus. Can I get a name, man? Amen. Bro, we're going to get a sponsorship of Fear of God. Oh, F.O.G. to die, bro. I, I only want Skylands. You can give George the, all the clothing. I just want Skylands. Like, hella Skylands. You can give him the rest. You can give the, the Fear of God 1s, the 2s. I just want Skylands. Like, hella Skylands. Like, the bones, the whites, the blacks, the reds, the orange, the green, the exclusive the samples. Hey, we're coming through. I'm down. We don't give up. We're just getting started. All right? This is the beginning of the great things to come. Don't get frustrated with the humble beginnings because the humble beginnings build your character so that when you're up there, that you can stay there because you got the character to hold you up. So it's not about the where did you start here. It's about the fact that develop your humility to stand tall no matter where you're at. Bam. this one off a little bit quick um so i kind of want to talk about the whole topic of humility okay right so first off <laughs> let's define humility <laughs> or being humble okay like, like real humble or like fake humble no like humble like being actual really okay. humble i think humble is, is like i think it's it's being honest understanding who you are and understanding who others are right in a sense of like what's humility humility is a uh, quiet confidence that I am not less because someone is more. Right. You get me? That you can look at others and see their greatness and that does not mean that you feel less qualified. Okay. You get me? Like you don't have to boast about it because you're confident in who you are. Right, right. right? Because humility is not a weakness. People think, oh, you know, humility is saying, oh, I can't do it like somebody else can. No, I, that's not humility. That is weakness. That is frailty. That's not knowing who you are. Right? right? Humility has a certain security that you know who you are and you're okay with who you are. You know you're not perfect, you know you're not the best, but that you're okay that there's some things you excel at, some things you don't excel at. And that you don't look at somebody as a threat, but rather as a compliment. Okay. I think that's humility. Okay. So, what do you think about, like, when somebody's being, I guess, overly confident or or they're expressing themselves in a way, and then people are like, yo, like, that guy's not humble, or like, yo, yeah. you gotta humble down. Yeah, I, I think I think there's, like, like overconfident is for two reasons. One, either you're not wise and you can't see that you're flawed, or two, is you're overcompensating because you're so insecure that you're shielding your insecurities with fake, you know, courage or fake charisma or fake confidence. Yeah. So I think that those are the two extremes that lead you to overconfidence, right? right? The one that you can't really see your weaknesses and that's even worse probably than, than insecurity because if you're insecure, at least right. you know you're insecure, you're just covering it up. Right, right. But if you can't even see how weak you are, then someone can come, he get you in a low blow, yeah. And shut you off for good, you know? Alright, so what do you think about then the differences between somebody actually like being overconfident and on the other side, somebody just like them being insecure, being like, yo, I think you're being overconfident. Yeah. Like, you got to say like yeah. the switch sides. What do you think about that? I, I think it's tricky because from the outside, it, it might look the same mm -hmm. unless you really know a person, right? Like, yeah. like you, you know what you're doing either or... Right, you personally, you can, right, you can right. tell, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. from the outside, unless you really know a person, you you don't know what they're struggling with, mm -hmm. so you don't know if it's overconfidence or if it's some, uh, like a charade, like you're just kind of covering up. You get me? Right, right. Uh, but like for example, people who who something have have insecurities about their weight, yeah. right? They'll say things that are unnecessary, like oh, you know, I'm big, so whatever it is, what it is. It's like they're trying to say like, like a confidence, like I'm okay with that. Right, right. But you're but, bringing it up. But you're no bringing reason. it for no reason because yeah. you're trying to mask before somebody points it out. Right, right, right. Right? I get that. And, and, and so that's not really confident. Then there's and the other person. Like, uh, for example, like a lot of people I've realized do that like with their caption. Mm -hmm. Like on like, um, like Instagram, they'll post something like, oh, um, don't mind this pimple, but whatever. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like nobody. You, it's like you're conscious about the pimple, so yeah, you saw nobody it. Nobody saw that pimple exactly. until you pointed it out. So that's like that that fake, like, ha, huh, you know me, it doesn't bother me, but it does bother you because you pointed it out. Right, right, right. Right? And then there's the other side. Whereas people who are like, like they really be on that, like, yo, I'm, I'm the best. Yeah. And then somebody else comes and is better than them mm -hmm. and they are nobody anymore. Like they lost all the confidence they ever had because right. they never, they were never threatened until that point. Right. And I'm like, you never really challenged. Like, yeah. Like, like, I, I, like your identity was what you were good at. Right. And then you found out somebody who was better than you. So now you don't know who you are. Mm. 
Okay. All right. So now let me let me flip the script a little bit. What do you think are um, in general, like at least, at least from, from that mm-hmm. humility uh, standpoint, what do you think are people's deepest fears yeah. in, in that spectrum? I, I think uh, people's our deepest fears, I would say, is the inability of being good enough, right? Like, I'm, I'm never going to be enough, right? Yeah. And, we, and, and we, we can put that in every aspect. People, some people say it as, as, as like athleticism. I'm never going to be a good enough athlete. Right, right. Some people say intellectually. Some people say in relationships. I'll never be a good enough husband or a good enough wife. I can never be a good enough girlfriend, so he's gonna cheat on me. I can never be a good enough hu- uh, like boyfriend, so she won't you know take me seriously or whatever. Yeah. I can never be a good enough friend. I can never be a good enough son. A good enough dad. I think that's one of them. Like that, I'm not good enough. Right, right, right. And and I think the other one I would probably say is um, if I'm honest, then they'll know I'm weak. And then they'll, they'll just want look at me like mm-hmm. I'm good enough, which yeah. is the same the same thing. The same so we're not we're not willing to be vulnerable and say yo I'm struggling. Yeah, yeah. Because if I you that which is so humble, honestly, a person who's humble can admit when they're struggling. Right, right. Right. No, but we don't see humility. We see weakness. Yeah. So we're like, no. If I tell somebody I'm 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 vulnerable, I'm weak, yeah. or I'm struggling or whatever, then they'll look at me like less. Yeah. And, and that my image will be tarnished. Gotcha. Yeah. Or like they'll hold that against. Yeah. Me. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Like a you, judgmental kind of thing. You know, for um. So, like, the reason I asked that is just because, um, so I was literally just watching, I was literally thinking about, like, so what are we going to talk about today, right? And I'm watching Coach Carter. you seen the yeah. part, you know the part, yeah, right? Coach. coach Carter, right? Yeah, Coach Carter, that movie is amazing. Right. So, you know, I started to think about that, though. I started to think about how, like, you know, when somebody does honestly break through their, um, that, like, you're saying, I won't be good enough or whatever, and then they kind of just break through that, because, you know, it, he says in the movie that our deepest fear is, um... Is uh is not our darkness, but uh, the, our light that most frightens us. That's 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 how he continues, right? And I started to think about how, you know, it kind of plays it kind of plays a hand, you know, like some people that are unapologetically themselves really do set you off in a whole different mm-hmm. way, right? Yeah. So I think like you know, like so for example, I would think about like if I were to ever like hang around like a Cardi B, right? You know, like she's unapologetically yeah, her, right? right? Yeah, she yeah. speaks the way she speaks. Mm-hmm. She hasn't changed, you know. Her well, ratchetness, been, she's been all doing that stuff. What she's been doing forever. Right, yeah. you know, and, and you'll think about, like, you know, if you're hanging around a bunch of people like that, how would your behavior change? How mm-hmm. would you change? Would that set you free to be yourself? Would that be, like, I, I think would it's you refreshing. be, I think right? It's refreshing. Right, and, you know, when I, when I start thinking about that, it makes me think about, like, how how much people don't do, you know what I mean? How, how, how many things people kind of put on hold be due to the comparison mm-hmm. of other things, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like nah... I will never be this good like this person. I'll never be. I'll never be able to create this like this person. You get me? Um, just because they're trying to hold themselves back, like they they, they don't believe that they can accomplish whatever it is that they they want to do. You get mm-hmm. me? Because this person does it better. This person has uh, this platform yeah, better. You get yeah. me? And then you know, and, and all of that stuff just kind of like makes me think about like you know, it's crazy to think that like you know, we all compare ourselves way too much. And I understand that everybody needs a point of reference. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody needs a point to like be like, okay, well, what is considered the best, right? And if it's this, then where am I? And is this? And then if I'm kind of climbing up, that means that I'm getting some, right? It's like a scalability. Yeah, yeah. You get me to see mm-hmm. if you're improving, yeah, yeah. which I understand. But, you know, a lot of people let that scale right there kind of stop them from yeah, doing anything. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? But I, I like the part that you were talking about, um, you know, that if you were to be around people who were just them, had the freedom, right? Like, for example, I was thinking about this yesterday, and I was actually complaining that uh, I can't be in certain social settings because I can't be me. Yeah. People are like, Chris, you need to behave a certain way. Chris, yeah. you need to do things a certain way. And that drives me nuts. Yeah. Because if you know me, there's moments that I'm going to be super quiet because I feel like it. Yeah. And there's moments I'm going to be super loud because I feel like I am rarely what everybody expects me to do. Right, right. And people expect me to be serious, I'm usually laughing. When people expect me to be laughing, I'm usually serious. Yeah. Right? And, and I think that when you can find people who embrace that freedom... Right of yeah, that's that's who you are. Be who you are. Yeah. That's a light that shines in you that allows others to be themselves too. Exactly. You know, and and I think it's essential because when you're unapologetically who you are, then you can accomplish the goals you set out for yourself. Yeah. Because you understand, look, man, I'm not perfect by any means, mm-hmm. but I'm processing. I'm growing. I'm proceeding. Right. Yeah. I, I think like what Captain Marvel says, right? She's like, oh, you know, uh, hum- like being human is not a weakness. Right. It's a strength. Like, you know, being broken, being faulty, being, you know, being lost. Sometimes yeah. we think, like, being lost is a problem. But if you're not lost, then maybe you 
like people, for example, like the people who were conquering, right, or, or investigating the 1400s, 1500s, they ended up losing themselves into a new country. Yeah. That losing led to discovery. Yeah. And I, I think that that's the beauty of, of when we just pursue life. And sometimes you think you're lost, but you're about to hit something new, something yeah. fresh. That you never would have thought. Because you had the freedom to just travel, to just take that adventure. And I don't yeah. mean like just travel from a country. I mean like in your life, yeah. pursue certain fears that you have. You know, even if you think you're not good at it, if you feel it, yeah. pursue it. Because there might be something you find in there. Exactly. All right? Yeah. And I, I, I like that point because, you know, it, it's to everybody. People don't really realize the power that each and every mm-hmm. one of you guys hold. Mm-hmm. You know, you guys just think that you guys are just regular, everyday people. And that because you don't have a big following on any social media platform and because you don't have a quadrillion friends and you're not the life of the party that you don't mean something you're you're not meaningful you know and the the thing about this is that people don't really realize that like everybody's watching you in silence mm-hmm. you know and everybody's mm-hmm. watching what you're doing and you have no idea like who you're inspiring yeah. you have no idea who you're motivating you get me you you might have said something that triggered some like somebody that is not even in the group of people that they overheard you mm-hmm. and they're like on the other side of the room and triggered them to Think about something or try something, you know. So, yeah, I say that just to say that you know, if you have anything that you've wanted to do that you've been that's been bugging you to do, that's been itching at you that you've been contemplating for mm-hmm. years, months, weeks, whatever. If it's something that you really want to do, don't say things like, "Oh, I don't have the platform mm-hmm. to say this," you know, "I don't have this to say that," because you really just don't understand, you know, the 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 power that your words or that your actions have that it could have on anybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could simply write. Uh, a simple post or a simple tweet or whatever you get me that's like the biggest platform that we have send it out and inspire somebody mm-hmm. or you know enable somebody that was miles and miles away to actually do something to be something to save somebody you you don't even know if you put a word of positivity and you save somebody from killing themselves yeah. you get me you just yeah. have no idea so you know I, my, my whole my whole uh, thing with this is just I was I was thinking a lot today about what what is it that I'm down you know standing for um that we're coming up close to like a year you know what what have I learned so far from the journey what have I learned and, and everything is just documentation you mm-hmm. know what I mean like it's it's to be able to have a conversation with you that like you have a different mindset than I do mm-hmm. right like you know you you think about things differently you have a different education than I do so it's different you know what I mean and and I just and I just to think about like what, it, what, what does it mean I'm down? You get me? And we've said it time and time again, and I don't ever want to forget that. It's exactly that phrase. Mm-hmm. It's exactly that word. Yeah. You get me? The whole adventure, the whole to try something mm-hmm. new because you don't know where it's going to yeah. lead you. You get me? If you usually say no to going out with your friends to the mall because you hate being around crowded people, you never know if that one time that you say, okay, whatever, mm-hmm. I'm down, you meet somebody there that changes your yeah, entire yeah. life. You get me? You just don't know like what something's going to ever mm-hmm. lead to. You know what I mean? So, I said just to say that if you feel like you want to do something, take us as an example, if that. You get me? As just, you know, two people that have regular lives, that hang out regularly, that go through the same problems. We're not big movie stars. We're not King Batch. We're not Timothy Delegato. We're not Charlemagne the God or none of that stuff. We're people that have these huge platforms that, you know, people like Mm -hmm. will obviously compare themselves to because they have this platform and that media. You know, it's just to do something. You get me? Like, if we can do it, you definitely can do it. You get me? Because we started off with a cell phone that we still have on the stand. <laughs> we started off with a tape. We started off with stuff in the room. Basic stuff that you have on an everyday basis. So, I think that, you know, um, if we can start something, you can start something. For sure. Yeah. You get me? And, and I think that, you know, you need to take that into consideration. That don't that You got to believe in yourself first and foremost before anybody believes in, your, believes in you, first of all. You get me? Because now a lot of people are going to believe in you before you believe mm-hmm. in yourself. Now, granted, you do have friends, you do have family that probably will. So, but everybody's situation is different. But it's just to say that if you have something that you've been wanting to do, stop talking about it, stop writing about it, stop tweeting about it. Because all of those things kind of just give you like that, that satisfaction. You yeah. know what I mean? Like when you say, hey, yo, look, you know what? I'm investing this. You get know I me? Mean? And then that's enough with you just saying yeah, it to your friends. I'm actually investing doing this. It. And I actually, exactly. You know, so I think that everybody needs to take, it, take their time to think about those things that they've been wanting to do and just mm-hmm. do them. You got anything finishing thoughts? Oh, man. Go ahead. Good. Just do it. Just do it, man. Here you go. Next time. <laughs>